Yo, this is Askins and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi and I would like to welcome you to round two with the one and only Mark Haskins. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm awesome, how are you? I'm doing great. I feel like that's the appropriate question as it's been a minute. It has, it has, it's been a while. I haven't been over lately, which um, you know makes me sad, but at least I'm back now. So uh, yeah, pretty, pretty excited to be here. Back here at Smash so. Wrestling in Toronto, where uh -huh. a big match is ahead of you as you'll be facing Kevin Bennett. Yeah. A lot of words have been exchanged, especially on his oh, end. Yeah, even I, songs. I haven't even really said anything, and mm. I feel quite jealous because I can't rap or sing songs of any variety. So okay. I feel this is a very one-sided battle, and I'm outnumbered by his rapping. Um, if you can call it that. Oh, fuck you, Bennett. No. Um, and, uh, yeah, and uh, wrestling as well. So. No, no. He's all right. He's a good kid. I just don't like it when he calls me names. That's because you're going to give him credit. He went as far as calling you a shindy prick. I, I mean, know. Well, you know, I've, I have been called worse. Um, okay. So, you know, um, <laughs> so it's not but, so but bad. still, I didn't really appreciate it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't, didn't like waking up to those tweets that morning. No. So, no. So, no. Nick's feelings going into the match? Going to... No, I'm just going to deck him. Like, oh, I'm have it. fun doing it. Yeah, for sure. Right? Yeah, you have to teach these kids a lesson, don't you? You can't go around calling veterans like me, as I've now realized I am, because apparently I've become an old man. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, you can't have him, like, going around, like, calling you Shindy Proof. That's mm -hmm. just rude. Extremely rude. So Did you have someone is. call you a veteran, and you're like, wait... No, I just feel like people have realized like I'm really old now. Like um, I was on a show just a few weeks ago with a girl who uh, the same year that I started training to be a pro wrestler was only three years old. Oh, wow. And now she's on shows with me breaking out and like having killer matches and stuff. And it's, yeah, Millie McKenzie, check her out. She's one to watch uh, in the cool. future. So yeah, yeah. And she makes me feel really old. So I don't like her. No, <laughs> no. These kids, these kids. But I, I like how you attract that. You're like, check her out. Nah, I don't like her. I, I don't. Like anyone that makes me feel old. I feel like a real old man now like i'm hitting those later years do you know what i mean really? so i feel it yeah i've got like two kids you know they wear me out and uh yeah i'm, I'm complaining about a lot more things <laughs> so uh yeah i do feel like i'm getting there well something yeah. else i have to bring up is the fact that you have been in so many intense matches and pretty gruesome matches yeah. and recently i saw you squeezing a lemon into some paper cuts some cuts so yeah. what's one of the crazier or weirdest things that's happened to you kind of spinning it around in a match mm -hmm. uh, oh Gosh, um, I don't know. I got power bomb through cinder blocks. I got uh, paper cuts on my tongue and my lips and my fingers. And I've hit somebody with one of my kids' toy dinosaurs. And I've shot somebody in the balls with a Nerf gun. And um, yeah, all kinds of uh, variety. No, like it's a real mixed bag of what ends up happening when you're in that kind of environment. And um, it's fun and um <laughs> exciting to see what new toys you can uh, you can play you with can so yeah for sure yeah like being power bombed into a barbed wire christmas tree um is a first for me so you know it's um <laughs> many you know, more firsts to come i'm sure right so you know it's, it's, it's exciting times exciting times for sure since we last spoke here at smash wrestling something has changed within your twitter at and it says modern day caveman in there so yeah explain um I, pretty, I'm just a caveman, really. Like, yeah, I disappear off to, like, Malvern, which, like, ask anybody in the UK, no one's ever heard of it. It's just a quiet country town in the middle of, like, nowhere. So um, I disappear um, there and just, like, literally go, like, feral into the wilderness. And, uh, yeah, and no, no one sees it from me for weeks. So, um, yeah, then I rock it back up to shows, like, hey, guys, what's going on? And, yeah. You know, um, I'm happy to see everyone Back again. To reality so. after that. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a very weird life that I live, but it's good. It's good. So. Going into this interview, I wanted to get a special question from somebody very special in your life. So okay. I contacted the one and only Miss Vicky Haskins. Oh, she's amazing, she isn't is. she? She's yeah. brilliant. Such a badass. I know. I know. I really don't know what I did in past life to like win her like she is like the biggest like achievement of my entire life like Aww. i feel like i'm a blind guy who went like clay pigeon shooting and accidentally shot an osprey i i don't <laughs> really know why she's with me um but i'm very lucky to uh to have her so and i convince her to like you know realize that she does deserve better and uh she should go elsewhere so keep that one uh kayfabe and a uh, secret <laughs> so yeah well the one word that she told me to bring up with you is karaoke oh no Oh, yes. Oh, I don't know no. any context. All that she told me is that you change a bit when it comes to karaoke. Sometimes, after a few, like, triple JD and Cokes, I do get a bit excited and decide I want to sing karaoke. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I... I 
it's horrible for everybody involved. It's not a nice uh, thing. Um, yeah, and I wouldn't subject you to that. So, uh, yeah. no. Well, no, like, uh, like uh, you can't put me on the spot now. Like, I feel like I should, but I don't want you to have to endure that for, the, like, the time that it lasts. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so, like, I kind of feel like, I still feel like it kind of should maybe. Oh, just, gosh. Okay, just, so um, my karaoke song of choice is um, Santana Smooth which I love, right? Okay. So I can't even believe that I'm doing this right now, and I, I beg you to forgive me in advance, and I'm very sorry for what you're about to hear. And YouTube listeners, you can just like click forward like a few more seconds, right? And this bit will be over, all right? So that's sweet. But um, yeah, so... Oh, gosh. Okay, so it's just like the ocean under the moon. It's the same as the emotion that I get from you. You got the kind of loving that could be so smooth, yeah. Give me your heart, make it real, or else forget about it. So, yeah. That so that's good. my jam. So no, it wasn't. Know, it was horrendous. No. It was horrendous. It really Please don't wasn't. even put that online. Uh, <laughs> all my days. I'm sorry. I told you it was rotten. I'm a dad. Like, I do dad things now. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm a dad dancer. I'm a dad singer. So that's, that's, that's my jam. So that. I, I have really already. You really gave it your all, too, even though it's on the oh, spot. Oh, well, yeah. Well, if you're going to do eyes. something, you, you go both feet in, right? Yeah. So I'll do it. Yeah. So it sounds. So that's my uh jam so we're doing it so. yeah, any other go-to's you don't, you don't no, have to sing um, them but. no like i have realized though that when i have like my headphones in and stuff i do often like sing whatever song i'm listening to and mm -hmm. sometimes that is death metal which doesn't go down too well like when you're in public places <laughs> so um like especially if i'm in the car like i'm always just like singing away and like yeah. realize i have headphones in and everybody else can hear me so um yeah i'm sure like I've seen it so many times where people in like passing cars are like just like is this guy is freaking out over here and uh, <laughs> this nigga yeah. screaming at somebody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and there's no one else in the car and I'm just like ah and so um yeah. You a decent screamer as far as the death metal part goes? I can't tell you, I've got you headphones in. I, I I presume I sound exactly as it does in my ears. So okay. uh yeah, so uh, it's pretty fantastic. Yeah, I was about I'm to say, a, is that what you're hearing? I'm a great front man, stuff? if you can already tell by yeah? my uh, rendition of Smooth. So, is that the, yeah. the position you take if you had to, uh, if you're forced to join a band? Of course, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm the one, I'm the workhorse here. I'm the star. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> the other day I was speaking to Mark Andrews and I'm adamant I want to do like a, you know, a, a band with him. Uh, like, he's already got a far better, like more successful band than I would ever be with him because Check I, Junior? yeah, because I can't play an instrument or sing. So uh, he'd have to carry both of us but um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure one day we're gonna do a duet what would be your part so. then you said he just just standing there and smiling and waving triangles? Yeah, yeah yeah I you can find me a role I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll do something so yeah well going back to the whole modern day caveman Twitter aspect I have a couple tweets here that stood out to me okay. and I know last time I went through some of your tweets you were like oh gosh what's she gonna find so okay let's see how these ones stand up right let's right, see so it. the first one is who the fuck invents all these bullshit wrestling rules just go give oh. the paying crowd a killer show without them we got fuck all fuck <laughs> yeah i was a bit upset that day so um it's just like uh, i don't know like i hate like this wrestling bubble mindset which people get into where people think that things should be a certain way and it's like judge look, everything right you're like look you're in a business like what like do what people respond to do you know what i mean like um because at the end of the day without the paying audience like we don't have a show mm -hmm. so go out there and give them what they want do you know what i mean like um obviously do it in a certain way that protects whatever it is that you're trying to do but like you do you know what i mean like i hate these pre-set mindsets of people are like i've been told it's this way so it's therefore got to be that way yeah, and then when you actually put it into practice it's not necessarily the way that it plans out so <laughs> Yeah, I was just venting. I'm a, like, yeah, I'm an angry venter at you're times. You're a cursor so. when you vent. Yeah, for oh, sure. for sure. Is that yeah. the go-to? Yeah, pretty much. I'm, I'm surprised I haven't sworn through this uh, yeah. interview. Yeah, I mean, so you already. can if like, you need to. I mean, obviously did. Okay, like I might just have done. Uh, yeah, oh, don't <laughs> say that. Now I'm going to like go off on one. But yeah? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, no, no, I'll keep it. I'll keep calm. Keep it? So, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, the next one, next up is, I can't lift up a boat yet. Hashtag things Jack says. So you've been training with him or something. Um. So the other day, uh, he, so whenever we play fight, he calls himself Dinosaur Man. 
Um, and uh, we were watching uh, so wrestling. Stone Cold Steve Austin was on the screen, and Jack loved the time that Austin came out. Like uh, it was like the pre-invasion roar or something, and he just beats the crap out of everybody. And like Jack loved him from that point on. So I was like, "Oh, is uh, Stone Cold your favorite wrestler?" And he's like, "Yeah, and you?" And I was like, "Oh, mate!" Like uh, he's like, "Yeah, but Dinosaur Man's the best." And I was like, <laughs> "Wait, like aren't you Dinosaur Man?" And he's like, "Yeah." Started so putting himself over. Yeah, he just looked me straight in the face. He was like, "Yeah, I could take <laughs> you all down." Ooh. And I was like. Whoa, okay, okay. like, yeah. You were intimidated then, from there out. Yeah, and then as we were driving just one day, he was, I, I was telling uh, Vic, he was in front of me, like, oh, Jackson, he could take us all down. And he's like, yeah, I could, I'm very strong. And I was like, okay, like, how strong are you? He's like, well, I can't climb a gate. No, what was it? He's like, I can't climb a, uh, I can't pull a gate down, but, um, and I can't lift a, a boat up yet. And I was like... <laughs> Okay, and then he gave me uh, an example of something he could do, which I think was like, I don't know, like drop me or something. And I'm like, yeah. no, you can't jack. And, you know, then I had to like teach him a lesson and scurf him. So, <laughs> yeah. At least he has some dreams. I mean, a rules. boat, that's a good expectation. Yeah, 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 he's on it. He's, yeah. um, yeah, I've been training him from uh, day one. So, yeah, <laughs> he's going to be the, the greatest wrestler like ever one day. The last tweet I have here, and I think this is also a venting tweet now that I know that's kind of your venting tone. Okay. And it's, it astounds me how many people People are utter dumb fucks. So is that something? <laughs> <laughs> is that something you think on a daily basis? Because that crosses my mind once or twice throughout the day. I do think that, and then I do something that's equally as dumb, and I'm like, yeah, I'm a fine one to talk. Like I'm no like brighter. Do you know what I mean? Like I'll open a cupboard door, forget I've opened it, and then walk into it. You Same. know, like yeah, or oh, just stupid things where I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm dumb as fuck. I shouldn't like, you know, <laughs> like point fingers. Um, yeah. Yeah. And if something irked you and that's why you sent it out or Probably, the, yeah. I don't know. I get angry. Something at that times. comes to your mind. Especially with like dumb decisions when you're arguing with people who are like dumb and stubborn. That's like I mean which also describes myself. I'm gonna stop talking now. So <laughs> what was the next tweet? <laughs> that was actually the final tweet I have, but since we were talking okay. about Twitter, is there anyone that you love following on there that you kinda of suggest people check out? What that I'm following on yeah. Twitter? Uh no. <laughs> um, no, I mean, go on, like, I don't know, it depends what you're into, do you know what I mean? Like, um, there's no one in particular that I follow, like, I don't really read anything, I just go on and look at pictures. Like, I prefer yeah. Instagram, yeah. So you yeah. just do the whole scroll, it takes no effort. Yeah, like, yeah. Twitter, there's too many words, not enough pictures, <laughs> just not my, not my cup of tea. Alright. So, yeah. <laughs> So you'll be sticking to Instagram. Yeah, for sure. And I also feel bad as well because I often just double tap like pictures which I don't even really read what says underneath. So I've somebody done could that, say like, and then I go back. I'm like, I should probably shouldn't like that because it's like different context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if it's somebody who's like saying something like, they, you could literally say like, I've had the worst day ever. Like my family are dead. Like you know, I'm 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 going to end it all. And I'd be like, double, double tap. Way. <laughs> <laughs> There's a nice picture of you smiling. Saw it. So um, yeah, um, yeah. So what's coming out of this? Maybe we should just read a little bit more. Just be safe. Uh, maybe. Safe like, yeah, that, that sounds mm. responsible. So, yeah, maybe maybe one day <laughs> I'll uh, get to that. Well, just uh, wrap things up. I want to bring it to the fans. Anything you want to say to everybody viewing? And you cannot apologize for your singing. Okay. Well, oh, dear. Um, but anyway, thank you for um, putting up with that. And uh, thank you for continuing to put up with me and support me. Um, I greatly appreciate that. I can do it without you all. So thank you ever so much. Um, any new fans that want to check me out, Instagram at This Is Haskins, Twitter, same handle. Um, and check out www.thisishaskins.com for all my merch and shit. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> you heard yeah. it. And shit. It's all up there. And so. shit. And yeah. Shit. And shit. Thank you so much for joining me again. No, thank you for having me. It's I my appreciate pleasure. it. So it's great to be back. And, <laughs> and remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See ya.